Hello, world. Welcome, I am your host, Mr. Stag. Today we will be discussing HES Corporation, ticker symbol HES. HES Corporation is an American global independent energy company involved in the exploration and production of crude oil and natural gas. The company has exploration and production operations onshore in the United States, North Dakota, and Libya, and offshore in the United States, Gulf of Mexico, Canada, South America, Guyana and Suriname, and Southeast Asia, Malaysia and the Joint Development Area of Malaysia and Thailand. In 1919, British oil entrepreneur Lord Cowdray formed the Amarada Corporation to explore oil production in North America. Wheatman Dickinson Pearson aka Lord Cowdray was born on 15 July 1856 at Shelley, Woodhouse, Yorkshire. Lord Cowdray died in his sleep at Dunecht House, Aberdeenshire on 1 May 1927, aged 70, leaving a fortune of £400 million, $24 billion in 2021. Amarada Corporation was incorporated on February 7, 1920, in Delaware as a holding company for its principal subsidiary, the Amarada Petroleum Corporation. The oil producer experienced growth during most of the 1920s, hitting a peak in 1926 with a net income of US$4.9 million. However, in the years leading to the Great Depression, weakness in the oil markets contributed to sluggish profits. The aftermath of the market crash aggravated an already unsteady oil industry. In the first quarter of 1930, the company experienced a minor loss. The early years of the depression were a struggle against wavering demand and overproduction in some regions. Later into the 1930s, financial forecasts for Amarada became more positive. In December 1941, the company reorganized by merging the holding company and the principal operating subsidiary, Amarada Petroleum Corporation, into a simplified operating company. The new entity also adopted the former subsidiary's name. In 1955, robust post-war growth grew the company to over US$100 dollars in annual sales. Leon Hess was born on March 14, 1914, to a Jewish family in Asbury Park, New Jersey. His parents were Ethel and Mores Hess, who was a kosher butcher, who had emigrated from Lithuania and, after arriving in the United States, worked as an oil delivery man in Asbury Park, New Jersey. Leon served in World War II, rising to the rank of Major, and serving as the fuel supply officer for General George S. Patton, where he further developed his logistical expertise. Hess worked as a driver for his father's company and, after it went bankrupt in 1933, he reorganized the company. Leon Hess, age 19, forms Hess Incorporated, purchases a 1926 second-hand 615-gallon oil delivery truck and begins residential delivery, seven days a week, near his home in Asbury Park, NJ. He built an oil terminal in Perth Amboy, New Jersey out of old oil tankers and aggressively underbid his competitors to win federal oil contracts. In 1937, recognizing that large power companies are switching from coal to oil, Leon Hess purchases five additional trucks and expands his business to include post-refinery residual fuel oil. In 1938, first oil terminal site purchased in Perth Amboy, NJ with facilities to unload barges. Facilities for unloading tankers added three years later. In 1947, Hess expands its distribution and storage capacities, applying lessons learned by Mr. Hess during his U.S. Army experience during World War II as a petroleum supply officer, and his knowledge of the industry. In 1948, Hess purchases first ship, a 10,000-ton tanker. In 1955, oil was first discovered in North Dakota in 1951 by Amarada Petroleum, which later became part of Hess Corporation. Since then, Hess has become a top operator in the state.
In 1960, the first Hess-operated gas station opens in New Jersey. In 1962, Hess merges with Tetrac Corporation, a Cleveland, Ohio equipment manufacturer, becomes Hess Oil and Chemical Corporation and is publicly traded on the New York Stock Exchange. Hess Oil and Chemical, an oil refiner and marketer, founded by Leon Hess, acquired 10% of Amarada Corporation for US 100 million United States dollars in 1966 from the British government. In 1967, Hess Oil and Chemical completes construction of a large refinery on St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands. In 1969, using the proceeds from the IPO sale, he acquired the Amarada Petroleum Corporation, one of the largest producers of crude oil in the United States. As part of the purchase, he merged it with his former company, Hess Oil and Chemical, to form the Amarada Hess Corporation. This was a $2.4 billion merger combining a pure production company with a refinery and marketer operation. Over the next two decades, Hess experienced incredible business growth. Leon Hess served as CEO from the early 1960s through 1995. Hess died at Lenox Hill Hospital on May 7, 1999, from a blood disease. John B. Hess his son succeeded him as chairman and CEO. John Hess holds a bachelor's degree from Harvard College and an MBA from the Harvard Business School. A member of the Board of Dean's Advisors at Harvard Business School, he was also chairman of the Harvard Business School campaign. John has been Chief Executive Officer of the Corporation since 1995 and employed by the Corporation since 1977. He has over 40 years of experience in the oil and gas industry. He stepped down as Chairman in May 2013, retaining his position as CEO. In February 2000, Hess acquired the Meadville Corporation and rebranded all 178 Merit Gas Stations as Hess. The Merit Gas Station chain was primarily located in the Boston, New York, and Philadelphia markets. Similarly in 2001, Amarada Hess entered into a joint venture with A.T. Williams Oil County of Winston-Salem, North Carolina. The company and the gas stations were changed and called Wilco Hess. After the joint merger, there existed some 1,200 Wilco Hess stations. In 2001, Amarada Hess purchased Triton Energy Limited in a cash tender deal valued at approximately US$3.2 billion. Triton, one of the largest independent oil and natural gas exploration and production companies in the United States, had earned a reputation as a maverick oil company due to its highly successful yet potentially risky overseas exploration. Triton has major oil and gas assets in West Africa, Latin America, and Southeast Asia. The purchase was expected to immediately increase the company's per-day barrel output by more than 25%. Following on the heels of the Triton purchase, energy prices fell and global economies weakened. Amarada Hess struggled through the following years, and in 2002 posted a US$218 million loss due primarily to a US$530 million charge relating to its write-down of the Khyber oil field. However, from 2003 through 2006, Amarada Hess posted steadily increasing profits as the company reported US$1.920 billion in net income. In May 2006, Amarada Hess Corp. changed its name to Hess Corp. On January 18, 2012, the company announced that it would close the Hovenza refinery in St. Croix, United States Virgin Islands by mid-February 2012. The refinery would continue to serve as a storage terminal. February 2013, Hess permanently closed its Port Reading, New Jersey petroleum refinery. 
Gas prices had risen to their highest levels since October 2012 and Hess said it would lay off 170 of 217 employees at the plant, exit the refinery business and look for a buyer for its 19 storage terminals. The company decided that going forward, it would focus on exploration and production. On March 4, 2013, Hess announced that it would sell its domestic refineries and retail operations. Hess retail and refinery operations contributed about 4% of the company's revenue. The company would focus exclusively on oil production, following a trend in the oil industry for companies to spin off the downstream assets and focus on their more profitable upstream business. In April 2013, Hess Corp announced it would be selling its Russian unit to Lukoil for $2.05 billion. In July 2013, Hess Corp said it would sell its energy marketing unit to UK firm Centrica for around $1.03 billion. In October 2013, Hess Corp announced plans to sell its East Coast and St. Lucia storage terminal network to Buckeye Partners LP for $850 million. On January 8, 2014, Hess filed for a tax-free spin-off of its gas station network. The newly formed company was to be known as Hess Retail and would include over 1,200 stores throughout the eastern United States. Before completing the spin-off, Marathon Petroleum subsidiary Speedway LLC announced on May 22, 2014, that it would acquire the retail unit of Hess Corp. for $2.87 billion. Following the closure of the acquisition in late 2014, all Hess gas stations were rebranded as Speedway gas stations by the end of 2017. Hess operated gas stations in Alabama, Arkansas, California, Connecticut, Delaware, District of Columbia, Florida, Georgia, Indonesia, Maryland, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New York, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Virginia. The transaction completed the transformation of Hess into an energy company focused solely on exploration and production, effectively reversing the Amarada merger of almost 50 years prior. In 2014, Hess completed a multi-year transformation to be recognized as an exploration and production company by exiting all downstream operations, generating approximately $13 billion from assets sales beginning in 2013. Hess still has 74 subsidiaries under its umbrella. Headquartered in New York City, the company ranked 394th in the 2016 annual ranking of Fortune 500 corporations. In 2020, Forbes Global 2000 ranked Hess as the 1,253rd largest public company in the world. The Hess family remains in control of oil company Hess Corp., but just barely. The Hess family was also known for its ownership of the New York Jets, which they sold in 2000. Forbes estimates the family fortune to be $1.9 billion. Hess current stock price at the time of this video is $82.55 with a market cap of $25.41 billion. The stock is currently overvalued according to Simply Wall Street by 312%. The company is currently trading around 4.5 times its book value. HES currently pays a 1.2% dividend and it has a payout ratio of 156%. Earnings per share of 0.64, a gross margin of 75.16%, a net profit margin of 3.08, and a debt-to-equity ratio of 136%. The company's earnings growth has been strong but compared to the industry it is lagging. John Hess owns 7.65% of Hess. With the growing demand for renewable energy, Hess will be likely to fade out of existence unless it makes the transition to clean energy.